The West wants Georgia to become a second front against Russia, Georgian Prime Minister. The Georgian government said that the West persistently demanded that Tbilisi open a second front against Russia. According to Prime Minister Irakli Kobakidze, there is a global war party whose main task is to drag Georgia into a new armed conflict. Such persons, of course, do not care about the interests of Georgia itself, Irakli Kobakidze said. The Georgian Prime Minister emphasized that the West is using double standards when reacting to the law on foreign agents for which deputies of the country's parliament spoke in favor of three readings. Let us recall that the pro-Western president of Georgia, Zura Bashvili, blocked the law with a veto. However, a veto can be overridden by a majority vote of parliamentarians. Look, a similar and even much stricter law is being adopted in Turkey, but the West is not demanding Turkey to cancel it. Why? Yes, because Turkey is a NATO country and you cannot get it to open a second front against Russia. But they want Georgia to become the second front, Kobakidze added. Let us recall that earlier the USA and the EU began to threaten Tbilisi with their beloved weapons sanctions. This is despite the fact that the law on foreign agents has been in force in the United States itself since 1938. Earlier, Sergei Narishkin, the director of Russia's Foreign Intelligence Service, said that the Western countries are trying to persuade Tbilisi to open a second front against Russia in connection with the events in Ukraine. We see persistent attempts by Washington, Brussels and London to persuade the Georgian leadership to open a so-called second front. They see that the situation on the battlefield is not in Ukraine's favor, Narishkin said. Two ships have sunk as ice drifted in the Zagansk region of Russia's Yakutia Republic. According to Russian media reports, the ice drifting occurred on the Lena River the day before the sinking of the ships. Three tugboats, one tanker and six empty barges were laid up in the area. During the ice drift, they began to be pulled downstream. There were 35 people on these ships during the incident. Some 18 people were evacuated, and 17 remained there to carry out work with no threat to their lives and health. The tanker, Captain Burkovsky, and the sea tug, Sofran Danilov, completely sank. The ship, Captain Burkovsky, received damage to the hull and began to sink. The crew was evacuated. Work was carried out on the ship to pump out water and weld, but this did not help prevent the sinking that occurred at 1920 local time. The tug, Captain Kurchatov, was pushed ashore, the tanker, Mechanic Vinokurov, and six barges are laid up, the regional ministry of transport reported. The head of Zagansk region, Vasily Sorokin said that the relevant authorities were notified about the incident on a timely manner and the evacuation was successful. The situation is under control, Danilov said, adding that a representatives of the Yakutsk Republic's transport administration had arrived at the scene of the incident. Previously, those who were on board of the ship were able to get ashore on their own. With the assistance of the administration of the Zagansk district, they were taken to a temporary accommodation center in Zagansk. Зидителлер, кахан тимирерин кетелер, умсарылар. Тимирде. Ох, когда бы не тюгенер, тюмиренер.